Uh, hello, Survivor fans. This is Jordan Walters, and this is an exclusive interview with Sean Hans. And in case you don't know, Sean Hans is the brother to King of Survivor, or worst player on Survivor ever, or however you want to word it. Yes, he's the brother of Ruckel Hans. He's also the father of Brandon Hans, who was on Survivor South Pacific, and has come back this season for Survivor Caramelin fans vs. favorites. Uh, hello, Sean. So, how's it going today? What's up, brother? Uh, hey. So, uh, first off, I'd just like to say thank you for taking your time and uh, giving me the opportunity to interview you. Oh, no problem, man. Like I said, I always love to uh, help people that are uh, just starting and uh, hopefully get you up and running. Uh, all right. So, um, here, let's get into it. So, your brother Russell has been on the show three times already. And has a very controversial strategy. Now, do you agree with the way he played the game? You know, Russell, uh, yeah, Ru I mean, we, uh, he's, uh, you know, a, a lot of strategy. He's a lot of strategy. Um, yeah. Russell is a different kind of guy. You know, he can do things that I don't see people typically that can do. He's got his willpower is like, I, you know, He's got such a strong willpower. Like, let me give you an example. Just uh, mm -hmm. people typically go out on barges and they'll go out on a job and they'll stay, what, eight hours, maybe 12 mm -hmm. hours. It's no big deal for Russell to go out on a job. Now, I'm talking about in the elements and stay there for 24, 36 hours wow. uh, straight. Wow. So yeah. Russell is hes a strategizer. He's a tough, he's got mad heart. I mean, I know you guys seen all that. He is yeah. uh, one of a kind, you know. Uh, but, you know, I have mad props the way Russell plays the game. It's a game, and I, I think he did a great yeah. job. All right, so now your son Brandon also played the game before and is now on the season of fans versus favorites. Now, from what seems is that Brandon is going to play a different strategy you know, this time around. And he even says, I think I'm going to go Russell Hans style. And then he also says, I can feel my uncle's blood running through my veins. Now, I find this interesting because in his previous season, he says that his uncle ruined the Hans family name. And now he plays the same strategy as Russell. Now, your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, Brandon is, is you got to remember, like I say, I'm not trying to make excuses. For Brandon, mm -hmm. uh, at, at the age of 18, 19, 20, uh, most of us didn't know which direction we were going in. Russell's a grown man. Yeah. He knows where he's going. He knows, uh, you know, the consequences for the things he does. Brandon still, I think, he shoots uh, stuff off and not think of, sometimes he doesn't necessarily think about what he's saying. But Russell was a strategizer. He knew exactly who he was and where he was going. Brandon's still trying to get his footing. Uh, yeah. This this year, uh, this season, uh, is more of who Brandon really is. Uh, last oh. last time he played, he he really tried to be good. And Brandon is a loyal. I always said this. He's very loyal, and he's the kind of guy you want with you if things get tough. He's a loyal friend. But I think yeah. he learned a lot with the last show because uh, mm -hmm. you know loyalty on Survivor never seems to work out. And uh, it didn't work out for him. It also, uh, you've seen it yeah. didn't work out for Eric and other people like that. Great, great hearts and really met well. And uh, mm -hmm. people don't even respect that. Think about it, Jordan. They yeah, don't respect definitely. that kind of gameplay. No, they don't. Uh, I mean, it never really works here. Yeah. You know, uh, being a nice guy, I, I'm a nice guy. And, and you yeah. know, in life it works. But on Survivor, it's not it's not yeah. great. And you've got to take that approach. And Brandon does this time where, hey, uh, I'm going to play. I'm going to play strategy. And yeah. if you guys want to mess with me, you're going to pay the price. And, you know, it really is. Russell, is, Russell and Brandon are strand from the same vine when it comes to uh, personality, uh, mm -hmm. aggressiveness. All the Hanses are very aggressive. Uh, yeah. We'll tell you how we feel, what we think. 
I say all of them. I'm, I'm saying my immediate family, me, Russell, Willie, Brandon. Yeah. Uh, even my other brother, Brian. Uh, you know, we just kind of, it's a, it's a strong gene in us that, uh, I guess I, I, I don't really know what it is, but it's definitely there. Yeah. It's different and we, uh, we're a little out there. People think it, it's, uh, obviously people are in, intrigued with it and, uh, Brandon and Russell will both tell you exactly how they feel. All right. Yeah. And now, from what seemed like from, uh, I think it was the after show, it seemed like that when Brandon got back home, that everyone in the family, like, totally disagreed. And it seemed like that there was kind of like, you know, a, a little, like, uh, not like okay. hatred, but. I want to clear that up because that was one of the. Yeah. When he came back last time, it was like on the show, and he was he was like nobody's here to support me. So I'll, I'll clear that up. I did on one other All show, right. and I'll do it on this one as well. You know, it All was right. we okay. I raised Brandon a certain way to have morals, values, and do certain mm-hmm. things. But at that time, and I'm not going to get into details, but he I wasn't agreeing with his lifestyle. It was after the show, and he's kind of flip flip flopping around there. Yeah. No disrespect to him, but, you know, there again, he's young. He was married. He still is married. At the time, he was doing some things that I necessarily didn't agree with, and I wasn't going to support him. He knew that, where I, where I stood with that. Uh, and I, I made a decision not to go, and I stand by my decision. And it was a personal thing between me and Brandon. Brandon knows I love him, and I would do anything for him. I mean, he's my best friend, and I'm his best friend. So yeah. we have a great relationship. And, uh, but at that moment in time, you know, yeah. uh, I just made a decision not to go. All right. So, um, now you and Russell have a TV show, uh, Flipped uh, Off. And so uh, far, it only has one season. Now, are we going to get to see some more, you know, Hans Brothers and, uh, maybe a season two? Yeah. Well, it's funny you said something about that, George, because we just got a call actually from a producer <laughs> yesterday. That uh, they said that uh, that A and E has not dropped our show, and uh, oh, okay, good, yeah. They they're still working on getting things uh, going. Not to say that's not a pure pure fact that it's going to happen, but it definitely gave me uh, hope that there there might be another show. We're also talking about a hand show, a family hand show that may yeah. possibly could come out in the future with the brothers uh, and uh, Brandon. Uh, and uh, our lives. And uh, so there's some things going around. Also, me and Brandon uh, have some opportunities down the road to do some things that, which I can't get into, but you might oh, see okay. us back on the big screen. Also, uh, yeah. with Russell, you never know. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, yeah, that's fun because I was actually just about to ask you about making a reality show. And now, the way that they show you guys fighting on the show, is that really how guys are in real life? You know, it is my nature. I'm a nice, peaceful guy, and Russell can yeah. come across kind of harsh at times. And uh, sometimes I got to jump in there and be the voice of reason. I'm not going to, that's who I am. I'm not going to be someone I'm not, you know, or see. And uh, we have a, we do have a common decent see to respect each other most of the time, but sometimes he gets out of hand and I have to put him in his place. Uh, you know, he says a lot. He says a lot. He talks a lot. But at the end yeah. of the day, he knows I'm his big brother and he, he won't cross me. All right. And so now, do you ever wish that Russell had never gone on Survivor? That you guys have never become, you know, this famous? Because it definitely has oh, toys, wow. you know. Yeah. You know, Jordan, it's, fun, it's funny you said ask me that question because, uh, you know, reality TV will bring you down a road or path that's tough, dude. It's, uh, it's, yeah. it gets hard, man. It's, uh, it's not just all the limelight that everyone thinks it is. And, uh, we got kind of blown into it so quickly. And it seems like the last four, three or four years have been crazy. And, uh, it's changed. I don't want to say changed us, but it's definitely, uh, it definitely will push your character and integrity 
uh, to the utmost to find out really what you're made of. And uh, I was just talking to someone over the phone earlier and said, you know what? It's This reality stuff is not taking me nor Brandon uh, nor even Russell, as far as that's concerned, down a road that, uh, that, that I want to be on. And uh, I'm trying right now to get my life back in order, get uh, change some things up, and uh, get some normalcy back into my life. And uh, if I can continue, which I, you know, we do do some other things. I still want to make. I still want. I, I still have to. Mm-hmm. One thing that I've learned, Jordan, is you've got to stay true to yourself. You got to stay true yeah. to those people that you know that you can trust around you. Yeah, uh, you know, I was put an in, uh, inner circle around uh, each of us and. Uh, those people we know we can trust. And don't ever let that go. Don't ever lose lose that. Uh, though it may look, the facade of yeah. things looks beautiful and it looks so, the green, you know what the saying is, that the grass always looks greener on the other side, but you get over there and that grass needs to be mowed too. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, and I'm not just talking about that mostly talk with, talking about uh, relationships, but it's also in life. You know, what you have sometimes is no better to go to another job or go to another uh, town to move. It's, it's, sometimes we get so antsy, we want to move so quickly, but we'll look around and yeah. we can enjoy what we have right there in our own backyard. Yeah. Well, all right. So um, one last question. And now, uh, so Brandon is back from, you know, Survivor. And now, has he told you anything? Uh, are you talking about specifically what had happened on the show? Uh, just like you know, in general, because I I know you know they've done filming and all. So, do you know when he when or if he's getting voted out? Not yes. Can't uh, tell us. Well, but. I can't. I can't uh, yeah. disclose anything as far as what happened on the show. Nor can I uh, talk about that. I, all I can say is that Brandon is a different person on this show, as you're going to see. Yeah. Uh, down the road, uh, he stands firm on what he believes. And you do see a lot more of the character of um, an aggressive Brandon, not a passive Brandon. Which, way, right. if you're going to play Survivor, that's the way you got to play. George, you see the way he's played. He's not played like he played uh, oh, the show. Oh, no, so, definitely not. So, and that's what you're going to see more of. Uh, you know, win, lose, or draw, Brandon steps up and he plays. He plays more like I feel like you should have played the first time. Okay. You see me yeah. out there. You see what I told him when I got out there. I was like, Brandon, what are you thinking? What did you <laughs> come here for? To make friends? No. You come here to win a million dollars. Get yep. your butt here and do it. <laughs> I thought Brandon to be morally correct and, you know, ethically you got to do the right thing. you got to be able to stand in front of people. You don't want to be fake. I taught him all the right things to do. But when yep. he went on Survivor, he knew that he was going different. To, yeah. to an atmosphere where, hey, these people want to stab you in the back, you know. Uh, so, you know, uh, he learned a lot. I mean, a lot. Brandon is growing up <laughs> very quickly, and he's actually <laughs> growing up right in front of America's face. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much. That's all. No problem, after. Jordan. Uh, I feel honored that you asked me to come on your show, and I hope you all the success in the world. And uh, maybe we can do it again after the show's over with Brandon and uh, and Russell. Oh, definitely. I love that. Okay, buddy. Uh, Keep in touch with me, Jordan. I appreciate it. God bless, man. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up, like, and uh, share it to everyone, all of your Survivor friends. And click that, the Jordan Films, right in the middle to subscribe. And I'd like to give a big thanks again to Sean. That was awesome, really. Thank you very much. And I hope that we get to do it someday again. And go like my page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at the Jordan Films. Um, bottom right hand corner, click on it and see my previous video. And I think I'm going to be doing every Thursday, check it out, a podcast about the 
about the latest episode of Survivors. Check out, stay tuned, and thank you, and bye.